You know, my goal was never to go to the National Football League. My goal was just to play on the next level. I see you, big dog. Move your hip. Move your hip. I'm 31 years old right now. I've played eight years in the National Football League. I, I'm probably going to play my last down of football. Theoretically speaking, my peak earning time is over. But I'm 31 years old. I have a, an entire lifetime to go. Thank you guys for signing up. You've already taken the first step. And the foundation we talk about not having any excuses to not succeed. It's a free football camp. You're gonna get some great instruction. Listen. When you talk to Marshawn, when you talk to Sherm, listen to him. They're not out here just for no reason. They're out here for you. So who wanna break us down? Me. Me. Who wanna break us down? Me. 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 Virginia football on three, you got it. Virginia football on three. One, two, three. Go ahead, y'all down there. All the way down. Hey, line up everybody behind the cone. No more than 10 people in the line. Go. If you look at me wrong, you're getting buffed. <laughs> I'll tell you when you're done, all right? Ten push up. I need Good. Good. Thank you, Rebecca. Now get back in line. Good job. Get it up, get it up, get it up. I'll tell you something, right? I play, I'm in the business world too, right? And the smartest businessmen are football players. You know why? Because the discipline that sets you up already to be disciplined. In business, you got to be disciplined. You know what I mean? You can make way more money without playing football. That's what I'm figuring out. Russell Wilson side me. Like Rob. Man, don't be saying hi to me like a president. <laughs> the great Moffat. All right. Man, words of wisdom. <laughs> you got my vote, Zach. You got my vote. My goal is to have a camera in every locker room so I can be endorsed to someone by the NFLPA or the NFL. I would love for it to be all over the league. It, it was more just about the personalities, the guys in that locker room. Uh, guys like Big Red, Marshawn, Sherm. The Real Rob Report gives fans an opportunity to see inside who these guys are and like, you knew Richard Sherman before the rest of the world knew Richard Sherman because you watched the show. Are you the best? Defensive back in the National Football League. I mean, women lie, men lie, numbers don't lie. Where you going, man? Oh, so that, now you're gonna go where the camera. What's up, Are you serious? Oh. <laughs> there you go, do a bust a rap, bust a rap. I like Skittles and shit. I said it. But stop, stop talking about Skittles if you're my fans, because I'm sick of hearing about it. I like other things too. <laughs> we're happy and we're singing and I'm colored. <laughs> Yeah. Cut. Okay, cut. We wear helmets. It's, it's hard for people to really know our personalities. And John Moffat, man, he's like the greatest prophet that God ever met. <laughs> you know what I mean? And people wouldn't know that if it wasn't for real Rob Report. The vampire meets this chick, right? Mm -hmm. He's like 120 years old in high school. That doesn't creep people out that he just keeps doing high school over and over again and doesn't move on to college where it would be a little bit more accepted. <laughs> that dude's got an issue and that's why he's never found someone until this girl. But he trapped her, it's good for him. It's the secret place, the locker room. Yeah. Everybody wants to know what goes on in the locker room, what, yeah. what guys talk about. Let's say anytime you see a, a white safety or a white receiver, they say, oh, he puts himself in great positions. He's so smart, he knows the defense so well, he puts other guys in good positions, he gets everybody locked up, that's why they do well. But the other guys, the other guys, <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's so athletic, hey, you see the way he caught You see the way he caught that ball? <laughs> oh, that's funny, yo. That's it's true, funny, yo. Hey. He's got a degree in uh, public relations, advertising, and broadcasting. Casting. Now it's very easy for him to transition to a, a position with NFL Network or ESPN or NBC Sports because he's already gotten the education to go on and do that after football's over. That's the quarterback right there, Fi. Yeah. He make all the big money. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be somebody, be a quarterback. Oh, that's my wristband. It says no time to sleep. Russell Wilson sighting with my son. What are we teaching our kids? Are we trying to tell them to, you know, get a little bit of fast money real quick, and at 31, you're done, you got to let that money last till you're 80? Mm -hmm. 
or are we saying we want sustained success over your lifetime? Y'all ready to play some football? Yeah! yeah. I'm about to do this kickoff return drill. We knew it was Crabtree in the playoffs. Oh, yeah, I'm not getting What did he say? He said a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of skinny, a little bit of fat. Man, what happened to the kick return drill? I'm trying to, I'm trying to get busy in the shoes. You gotta stretch, dog. Ah, yeah. We got a sink on them. Ah. Oh, yeah, we don't have a third. Yeah, yeah. I'm stiff arming somebody. Somebody go straight to the middle like, like the whole school. Money, money. Oh, shit. 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 Oh, I went over to Mike Robb's house once. It was like a really chilled out daddy daycare. These called power pellets. This is what Marshawn used to score touchdowns. You gonna score you some? Yeah, they the power pellets, man. Don't ever forget them, all right? I got them. Ah, he hitting too hard to be both. I just think that if more men stayed at, you know, raised their kids, a lot of our problems in general just wouldn't be there. It starts with the man in the mirror. I say, point thumbs, don't point fingers. Oh, yeah, this is that East Coast, son. You don't know about this. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Hey, hey, hey.